Hey guys, David here and welcome back to a brand new YouTube training. So after the success of my last Zoom video where we got over 4,000 views on this video here where I was showing you how to go live on Facebook with Zoom. I thought why not show or create a follow-up video showing you how to go live with Zoom on your YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you two different ways in Zoom that you can go live on your YouTube channel. Okay, so welcome to Zoom. To head over to Zoom, you simply type in zoom.us. Then you're gonna land on this home screen here. Now, before we can go any further into the training, I just need you to understand one thing. You need a pro, business or enterprise account to be able to do any sort of live streaming. So if you want to do live streaming on Facebook or on YouTube, you need a pro or higher account. If you're only using a basic account, you can do live streaming. So either pro, business or enterprise. Once you've decided which one works best for you, we just press buy now. You can choose them between paying annually or monthly and then you just complete the registration and you would sign up and complete payment. After you've paid to sign up, you will be logging into a page that looks very similar to this one here. Now, before we get started by loading up any sort of Zoom video, we just need to activate YouTube and Facebook live streaming in the settings. So we're going to come all the way over here to the right hand side to where it has your picture and we're going to click on your email address. So right hand side, your picture and load up your email address. You're then going to come to a settings page like this. We're going to scroll on the left hand side to where it says account management. And then we're going to scroll to where it says account settings. Now this page is a very long page. So to skip scrolling, we're just going to press in meeting advanced. So we're more or less down to the bottom of the page. We're going to keep scrolling, keep scrolling, keep scrolling until you say where it says allow live stream meetings. So for you, this will probably be turned off and it will look just like this. We're going to turn it on, turn on, and then we're going to tick all three and we're going to click the fourth one. And I'll explain a little bit more when we do this now. So on YouTube, sometimes it times out when you're trying to start a live video. If that keeps happening and you're getting really frustrated, we're going to do a slightly different version, which is custom live streaming. This is where you're grabbing a specific code from Zoom and you're telling YouTube to go and find this code and whatever this code is streaming, I want it to be streamed on YouTube at the same time. So make sure all four of those are ticked and then press save. So now we're ready to start live streaming on YouTube. So then we're going to do it the simple way to begin. We're going to go up to host meeting with video on. This is then going to either ask you to download Zoom to run it, or it's going to ask you to open up your app. So here we go. We are straight into the Zoom app. As you can see, anybody now that joins me live on uh, my meeting ID will automatically join my meeting. I want to show you a really quick way first. So you don't always need to go onto the desktop site for Zoom. You can just load the Zoom app up on your computer, press new meeting, and you'll come straight back to this setting here. Also, I want to let you know is you can't live stream directly off your phone. If you're wanting to sign set up Zoom on your phone now and then live stream exactly what you're doing here onto, onto Facebook or YouTube, you can't do that. You have to be on the computer or on a laptop to be able to live stream. OK, so you've got Zoom set up here. We're going to press more and then we're going to press live on YouTube. This is then going to ask you to log into your uh, Gmail or YouTube account. So I'm going to click my name and they're going to select the account I want. And then we're more or less good to go. All we need to do now is give it a name. So let's just call this test for the Zoom YouTube video and press go live. 
So like I mentioned a minute ago, sometimes it does time out while it's loading. So this is just going to load up really quickly. If it does time out, don't worry. I'm going to show you exactly what to do in a couple of seconds time. I want to show you now what it looks like doing it this original way. So if it does time out, it will pop up up here in somewhere in a minute and say it is timed out. What do you want to do? And we would simply press go live again. And it will just keep doing that until it finds a secure or a simple connection to actually get us live on YouTube. Okay, so as you saw then, it said connection has timed out. So let's try it again. Let's go live. And eventually you will finally connect to YouTube. I'm not sure why it just keeps timing out, but it's been an issue that's been going on for a week or so now. I think because of so many people using Zoom, the bugs and all the things that they need to fix is just what's causing this issue. But eventually, you just keep pressing go live, it will eventually go live and get you started on YouTube. Okay, and then it's done. So now we are live streaming on YouTube, as you can see here. So it took one or two attempts, but eventually it worked all its way through and it's good to go. Let me just put on my mute. Okay, so I'm on mute. So as you can see here, we are now live on YouTube. There's two ways you can know. It's either going to show you here that you're live or if we go to the Zoom app itself. It's going to show you here that you're live on YouTube. Another way of checking is if I bring my YouTube channel down and I just press refresh, you can see that it's showing me live here. Okay, so this is me live on YouTube now and this was me live a minute ago as well. So it 100% is live on YouTube. So now I want to show you a slightly different way of going live on YouTube. Okay, the second way is starting up a live stream on YouTube first, then connecting your Zoom account to it. So if we come up to the top right here where it says create a video or post, and we're going to press go live. This takes us into the back end of a YouTube channel to be able to go live. So these are the ones that we did earlier, but we're going to press live stream here. We're going to press new stream. And we're going to give it a name. So let's call this test for Zoom and press uh, no, this is not made for kids and then press create stream. This is going to load up now with two or three things that we need. We need the stream key, the stream URL and we need the exact URL. So we've got all those three. One, two, three. Then we come over to Zoom. We go new meeting. We click the three buttons where it says more and we're going to press live custom or custom live streaming services okay so the first thing it's asking for is the stream URL so the stream URL is this copy paste that in there stream key which is this one here copy post that in there and then stream uh, live stream page URL copy post that in there then we're going to press go live so again it's just connecting a slightly different way from the first time we're doing it again this way may time out if it does all you do is exactly the same thing we just put those details in and we press go live and eventually it will get you live on YouTube like I say the glitch in there sometimes is that it does time out if it does time out we just go live again and keep doing it until eventually it gets us live so okay it's just doing its thing it's just loading up okay and as you can see it timed out again so now we need to start again so these details all the same so I'm gonna press go live and it's going to try and connect again. This timeout issue is a bit of a pain, okay? Sometimes it does take two, three, four, even five attempts for it to find connect successfully. And I think this is something Zoom are probably going to look into and try and fix over the next couple of weeks as more and more and more people are using it to, to live stream their meetings. So let's give it one more go. Okay. And it has 
connected. Okay, so that has now loaded up. The final part of this now is we need to go back to the original live streaming setting. That was this one where we copied the stream key, the URL, and uh, the URL itself. And we've got to press go live. Once we press go live now, that is pulling it in our Zoom video straight onto YouTube. And as you can see, it's just said we are live. So uh, fake YouTube stream is telling us we're live. Zoom stream is telling us we're live. And if we go to uh, the YouTube channel, you can see, uh, let me pull it up quickly, your channel, test for Zoom. You can see we are live on there too. So if I just press play, you can see me talking. So that is a really quick video on how to connect or stream live on YouTube with your Zoom account in two different ways. Thanks for watching. Now come join us inside our free Facebook group where on a daily basis we share tons of content to help you generate leads for your fitness business.